Unlike other corporations commending the Jamaica Public Service for its work during burial, Manchester's councillors did not fail to express their disapproval of the company's operation post the disaster. But this level of dismay did not form overnight, as you'll hear in this report from Trisha Gay Kelly. I'm saying this one with no water in my mouth. I am very, very disappointed in the Jamaica Public Service. The unanimous sentiment at the Manchester Municipal Meeting on Thursday. For months, the councillors complained about rotten and inefficient polls, but to no avail. And when Hurricane Beryl struck, their points were proven, as the company had not taken heed of their pleas. Majority of the fall in JPS polls is as a, in not patch division, I can speak for that, is a result of poor workmen and faulty polls. Polls that we have been reporting for months. Rotten polls, three trees that have been hanging on the poles, and even some of the concrete poles just topple over. They weren't planted deep enough. The frustration has even led one councillor to suggest that some competition be put in the game or do away with the JPS once and for all. It is possible that we might have to invest in some solar, but I also believe that this monopoly, this monopoly that we have with the JPS company is one now that should go because we are seeing where it is becoming a whip to our skin and we have been affected left, right and centre. The councillor adds that if the company had responded to their calls for assistance, their response time following burial could have been reduced. This feeling echoed through the corporation's walls as Mayor Donovan Mitchell himself did not mince his words. And I don't think they were prepared for this hurricane. They were never prepared because some of the things we pointed out to them in terms of trees entangling in wire and trees near wire and all of that, if for that time they were doing it, we would not have had, we would have all of this problem. Right now, leave it in as close as it is to Mandeva Town, don't have any light. The mayor says he attempted to call JPS on numerous occasions, but his efforts proved rather futile, along with no electricity, Food shortage is something the parish now faces. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.